Wolfgang is a character that I've undoubtedly played the most in this game, and today Clay has raised the public beta of his rework where they removed his speed, lowered his health to 200 and require you to exercise to get mighty. Instead of eating food, you literally stand still and lift weights for a few minutes. So basically he's no longer fun to play. Or is he? Well, it's complicated. After reading all that, it might seem like Wolfgang is now weaker than before, but in some aspects he's actually a lot stronger. <laughs> Take for example his damage. We all know that Wolfgang is capable of dealing two times damage. But how true is this? In reality, he is only capable of dealing two times damage when at absolute full hunger. Meaning if you're not always at 100% full hunger, then you're not doing double the damage. If you have 270 hunger, you would only be dealing 70% more damage. This is why the joke of Wolfgang eating your entire fridge exists, because in order to play his character optimally, you would have to always eat something so that you're always at full hunger, even during battle. In Wolfgang's new rework, however, as long as you're mighty, you will always do double the damage. It might not sound like much, but all these extra numbers add up and you'll quickly find that the new Wolfgang is capable of dealing a lot more damage than the old one. In fact, in a lot of ways I believe it's easier to get mighty than before. Let me explain. You can now either craft a full on gym or just use one of three weights. The one you spawn with is garbage. If you want to get mighty using basic weights then you must be an idiot. Real men will craft the golden dumbbell before trying anything. I mean it's extremely cheap so you might as well craft it. When you're normal Wolfgang, the golden dumbbell is three times as effective as the old one. So if you're going to lift anything it should be this. That is, unless you get the legendary gem bell. This dumbbell will always give you two mightiness every time you lift it, which is insane. Funny thing about it is that it's the same price as the golden dumbbell, the only difference being the requirement of a single purple gem. It sounds expensive, but when you really think about it, that's just the price of killing a dirty bishop, rushing the ruins, or just fighting dragonfly. To be fair though, if you're at zero then it's still gonna take you a while to reach a hundred mightiness. However, the food downside is still there, just a lot more manageable. According to this forum post by Hornet, as long as you're over 75% hunger it will take you a full day to lose mightiness. If your hunger is over 150 you can deal two times damage for a day straight. If you're still not convinced that this is a damage buff, look no further than the gym you can craft. It's it's relatively cheap, but when you first craft it, it's it's okay. It's slightly worse than a gem bell, but luckily you can replace the garbage potato sacks with stronger materials like statues. The best thing you can put on these are boss statues, and two of them will let you get 7 mightiness per hit. You can literally get from 0 to 100 in like 10 seconds, it's really powerful. It's just a clever way to reward skilled players. Like some guy who just joined the server is gonna be stuck with two potato bags. But you, the chad who killed Dragonfly on day one can instantly max this thing because you are rewarded with a boss statue for killing Dragonfly. It's a nice way to reward people who are better at the game and it's an actual gameplay advantage for the statue blueprints. You do still lose the speed buff though, he doesn't have the speed buff that he used to have when mighty. Even though the damage and mightiness might be better, his speed boost he used to have is gone. Though there is still a few things that make this fact a bit better. First of all, he's much faster at carrying marble pieces when mighty. Like it's so fast I don't even want to use a beefalo because I'd rather just carry these things. Not only that, but carrying these statues around prevents you from losing mightiness. So therefore this is certified optimal. He now rows faster when mighty, so in a way he has better speed on the ocean. And the cherry on top is that he doesn't lose any speed when using marble suits and piggybacks. Two items that are now going to be essential for Wolfgang since without their downside the marble suit is just a better armor while the piggyback is just a better backpack. I was going to write a whole thing about how awful the removal of his speed is. But after playing with him for a bit and thinking it over while writing his script, I know I'm going to be put on a cross for saying this, but I think I prefer the new rework over old Wolfgang. But like, hear me out, don't shoot me yet. The speed removal isn't as bad as it seems. 
Speed is no longer a sacred mechanic that only Wolfgang and Wix have. Several Dawn Starve characters have new methods to move faster. There's Wix, Woody, Wormwood, Wartox, Wirt, Walter, Wanda. It's not really something that every character needs to have at this point. Plus, having four extra inventory slots with 95% protection and extra speed would make him a lot more broken than he already is, so I can see why the developers removed it in favor of more strong man like features. And to be completely honest, being able to move heavy objects at a relatively quick speed, getting 95% protection for free, getting two extra inventory slots at no cost, while being faster on water is in my opinion a good trade-off for the removal of straight speed. Like, we haven't necessarily lost his speed ability, we just traded it in for a bunch of new character-specific upsides. It's definitely a controversial opinion, and if you don't agree with me, that's fine. But I do want you to try out Wolfkin if you haven't already. I was extremely angry at the patch notes when I first read them, but after playing with the character for a bit, it's not as bad as I initially expected. Again though, that's just my opinion, and it could change soon after some more playtime. With all that said, I would like to remind you that this is just a beta, so if you are seething with rage over these new changes, then I recommend you travel to the mystical lands known as the Clay Forums. They released this as a beta for a reason, and that's because they want to hear your feedback. Clay wants to see if you have any problems with this update. So if you have any problems with these changes, then I highly recommend you voice your opinions on the forums. Anyways, I'll see you all on Thursday when the actual rework comes out. Until then, I'll be throwing dumbbells at people because I think that's funny.